A great safety speaker includes everyone in their presentation. They have quotes from men, from women, from different age groups, and they involve different people from different age groups and genders in their presentation. With other people. Other things you want to keep in mind. I, in the book, when I wrote that book, Mastering Safety Communication, when you look through it, you know what there's in there? There's a lot of quotes from people. And if you look, there's a lot of quotes from women and a lot of quotes from men. Why? Because there are women in the safety field, right? And, uh, and, and so there are women in that field. Why would I write a book that only has quotes by men? That would be stupid, right? Because you guys have great ideas. Why would I leave those out? In fact, some of the better quotes in there are from some pretty significant women that have written some pretty neat stuff. And, and that's valuable and important. Also, the book has an oddity to it. Both my books have this. There is no, um, I don't refer to he or him or she or her. I, I use the, um, what is it, the plural um, there. So I use there, even though that's plural, I use it for a certain per single person. So I go, they're doing this, and I'm referring to one person. Editors around the world have decided that the there can be used instead of he or she. Because I, I didn't want to write the book, he slash she. It's just that irritates me. So I just use the word they. And it turns out the editors have decided that's the way you do it. And that's pretty cool. But once again, it had to be doing what? With communicating with people. I sat at a seminar with a top motivational speaker that I studied. And he would bring in speakers that were what? Men, women, different ages at this conference. Why? Because people paid attention when somebody they could identify was there. I would use, when you're doing safety meetings, you want to make connection with people. Whenever you can, have somebody from their group speaking. 